Hey, what's going on guys? It's Evan back with another video. Today, we're gonna be talking about social anxiety and stuff like that and how to get around it. Cause personally, I've had social anxiety for a long time, bro. A long time. Not anymore though. So I've been focusing on myself, bettering myself and uh, learning ways to get around these sort of things. You know what I'm saying? So social anxiety, I'm not gonna sit here and pretend. I'm not gonna preach like, I know everything about anxiety. I don't, I don't research this shit. I just know like what I went through and what I felt like and how I fixed it. You know what I'm saying? Um, I just want to say, if you have anxiety of any sort, I just want to let you know that there is ways to fix it and there is ways to improve it and, uh, you know, make yourself feel more normal. Um, not that you're not normal. Okay. Here, that's the thing. Having anxiety is a very normal thing. Let's explore my dinner options right now. Um, but for real, like things that I went through when I had social anxiety is uh mainly had to do with food. I had no appetite, right? I didn't know what was wrong with me. Um, I couldn't eat shit. And especially when I was around people, when I was around people I wasn't comfortable with, I would feel like when we went out to eat, when we went to a restaurant, I would get this really overwhelming feeling and I swear to God, it felt like I got punched in the stomach. Every time I smelled food, every time I sat down in a restaurant, every time I thought about food around somebody that I'm not comfortable with, I felt like I was going to die. I'm not even kidding. I felt like I was going to die. And sometimes I'd actually have to excuse myself, run to the bathroom, throw up and come back to the dinner table, sit down, pretend like nothing happened. And then you get your food. I eat about four bites, really small bites. And they're like, what is wrong with you? Why aren't you eating? And you just, you just don't have the balls to tell them, you know what I'm saying? Cause that's, that's, that's what anxiety does to you. And you walk out that bitch with a goddamn, a, a, a handful of leftover, you know what I'm saying? Then you're eating good at yourself when, when you're back at home. But my point is, if you have anxiety, your problem is, I don't want to say problem. You don't have a problem, bro. But the thing that you need to focus on to better yourself is yourself. Whoa. You need to focus on yourself because if you're eating around people and you are not even comfortable with yourself, right? And you're trying to bring other people into the mix, brings all type of distractions like talking, things people take for granted. Like so many people take not having anxiety for granted. They go out to eat, have normal conversations, everything's fine. It's just like something that uh, normal people can do, you know what I'm saying? Um, but not, not in your case, if you have anxiety. Um, so yeah, you just need to focus on yourself. And something that I did to help myself with uh, my social anxiety is um, one, <laughs> no nut semen retention stop doing that you're gonna feel way better you're gonna feel way more clarity in your life um you're gonna start focusing on yourself you're gonna see improvements and something that semen retention actually helps you with is um self-confidence that's like a big big thing of what do you call it uh social anxiety um a lot of anxiety is like triggered by having low confidence you know what i'm saying so once you start semen retention, um, once you start spending time on yourself, doing things that uh, help you get to your goals, um, you're gonna start being more confident. And slowly, I'm not gonna say this is gonna happen overnight, but slowly but surely, you're gonna start seeing improvements in your confidence and you're gonna be able to make improvements, whatever it is that you struggle with anxiety. Um, you're gonna slowly start to see improvements. And even if it's like, Things like, hey, I went out to eat with my with my girlfriend today. I ate one French fry. You come back a week later, you eat two French fries. That's an improvement, right? You could eat one piece of dust. And you come back and you eat two pieces of dust. You're making changes, you know what I'm saying? You're doing big things out in this bed. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I just want to say that if you feel like the normal people uh, are judging you. I'm gonna say it, they are. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I'm not gonna sit here and capillary to your face 
and say that uh, they think you're normal because they think you're abnormal, but you're not. You know what I'm saying? Everybody has social anxiety. Don't worry about it, bro. Things are definitely going to get better. If you are a savage and you take care of yourself, connect with your higher self, raise your vibration. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Bye.